I'm, I'm from Waco, Texas, and loving life. And I've been into artwork and craft work real heavy the last three years. It's been on my mind all these years, and I just needed to try it, and everything's working out good. You have to make changes in your life, and I've made some of them, and I've found where I needed to be, and it's so exciting to have a peace of mind and be living stress-free and loving what you do. To me, this is living. I'm on the outskirts of Waco. I've been here, I was raised here, went to school here, and moved off from the service, my dad, and I came back here. I found the right road I'm on, and I just would like to show y'all what I have done in my last Oh, I've created this in the last seven to eight years. I had things in my life I needed to make changes, and this is what I made. This house, I just got through remodeling about two months ago, and, uh, I would just like to show some of the public of what kind of work I do. And uh, walking into the case, the trees that we used in this came from her land or either I brought them from the house. It was depending on the situation it was going to be used in. Uh, her post and stuff were not big enough for the steps I need. I use all her cedar trees for... Uh, handrail I cut the mesquite to go on the steps and I cut the cedar tree to go on the kickboards of this and then we finished out the handrails the staircase and then we went to the bathroom and we kind of designed a stump to go in the corner and then we put a mesquite top on it and she came up with a rock sink I had to put the bases down to all this then we walked out into the living room where I did the shelf and uh, the cedar around the trim around the windows. I went through the house to trim it out and built one or two, uh, I guess, cabinets in her bedroom and the sinks in her bathroom and her other bathroom. I used oak and then laid epoxy in it and put praying hands and put coloring in it. And I'm fixing to go back and do our entryway gate in Cedar. And I'm just <clears throat> winding this one up, and uh, I enjoyed doing it. Miss Lawson was very wonderful for me. That sure looks good. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yes, ma'am. Hey, I'm Isabel. And this is the place, Uncle Dan's uh, Barbecue where I found a most amazing piece that Doyle Zillum made. And I asked one of the employees how, um, if they had the number that I, where I could reach Doyle Zillum, and they gave me his business card. So the very day, that very day, I contacted Doyle Zillum because I knew he would be the one to restore my, my cabin out in the woods. And so I contacted him, and sure enough, he, he was the one, and he did a beautiful job. He went over and beyond, and it was worth every penny spent. He is an amazing craftsman, and he brought his sawmill on site, which made it really helpful because I was able to saw down trees, some uh, cedars, that, some overgrowth, and he just took those cedars and milled them right then and there and made trim, window trim and floor trim. Most of my life, I've been in the construction industry uh, for, for at least 56 years of it. I walked around from the back and he said, come see what I've done. 
And I walked around, I looked at it, and so help me God, I did not know what to say because I, I, I thought I was seeing something out of a child's enchanted cottage. It was, it was amazing. My first thought was, it's so different. And then the longer I looked at it, I said, this is the work of a genius. This man is, is awesome. Doyle is. Uh, if I had one word to describe Doyle, it would be, he is a naturalist. He, he, he's got the talent uh, to, to develop and apply natural things. Because he sees something out of a tree or a piece of wood that I don't see. See, there's a good looking table. See, I could carve a cowboy boot out of the bottom of that right there and I didn't think twice about it. This over here is where I get started at. I cut these up into, I've got my wood in different stacks for different kinds of wood. This is a boat art tree. This is an oak tree. This is mesquite. This is fixing to be a dining room table. This is where I get my creation from right here. This is what got me started in this business. A friend of mine gave me a piece of wood and I built me a bar top. And this is my, was my next step. I went and bought me a sawmill and I hadn't looked back since. But this is half the tree and this is the other half and I opened it up like a loaf of bread. And I kept the branches and the holes to make my legs and do some creations in them like carved a horse head and a cow skull at the other end. This glass up here, I'm getting ready for winter and I wanted to close in my shop and I wanted to do something different. So I informed this lady that owns this glass that I'd like to buy some from her and I was going to create something, some stained glass. I wanted my shop in stained glass. So I started building and putting glass in and this is what I've came up with so far. These pieces up top, I'm going to do all the way across this end and up at the top, from one end to the other, in stained glass. But he's, he's just got something in him that he just knows what, what to do. This uh, tree trimmer brought me this tree. It's a crepe myrtle tree. He dropped it off in the yard. He said, I think he can do something with this. It laid out there about two weeks. And I hung it from a tree, cut the legs off. Inside, I started carving a face on him. And then I went and had a hat made for it. And then I need to finish carving him, but he's in enough half stage, I guess. And I'm gonna put a water fountain down below it. And then start on something else. Doyle is is a first class worker. Doyle went over and above, over and above um, my expectations. It was beautiful, the finished product. I'm loving it now more than I ever have. Not just this, life period.